Oh no, we're still here. Okay. Oh, th this cheery duo. We have them. They were in our sights, and Captain Carroll just let them go. What could she do with our missile guidance scrambled? We could have done something. Now Lyndon James and Vanguard Squadron are laughing at us. They're running scared, dragged down by an injured fleet. If anyone's laughing, it's Captain Carroll. Let's just get to the briefing room. The Nadiri dockyards are burning. Their Starhawk flees before us. Linden and Vanguard are within our reach. Vengeance is sweet, isn't it? But this is no time to get complacent. I've waited too long to let Linden slip away again. Admiral Sloan is adamant that the Starhawk be destroyed, but we cannot engage it directly. The tractor beam is too powerful. Instead, we must force them into the Ringali Nebula. There, Vanguard and their battleship will be erased from history. Our Empire has called us to serve. We cannot fail. Okay. Our enemy is on the run. You have done well, Titan Squadron. But, in order to stop them, I need you to break off from the Overseer and fly ahead of the enemy fleet to set a trap. LT-514's calculations indicate that the remains of the Nadiri fleet is attempting to reach the New Republic capital of Chandrala. To do so, they must navigate the junkyard of scrapped Imperial ships they've been using to build that monstrous Starhawk. Poetic, <laughs> isn't it? We've detected several reactor cores in the junkyard. Titan. Fly ahead of their fleet and use the cores to create a minefield on their path. Active cores will detonate when shot and devastate any ships nearby. That includes you. Wield this advantage cautiously. Destroy any Republic starfighters attempting to scout the dangers of the debris field. Your ties alone may struggle against the fleet's larger ships. Detonate the cores to take them out. If all goes according to plan, the Starhawk will either be destroyed in your minefield, or be forced to divert into the deadly Ringali Nebula. Either way, we win. This... this is a lot. Oh boy. Shen, oh boy. I trust you see the wisdom in our strategy. Come now. Even damaged, the rebel fleet still presents a legitimate threat. We can't simply attack it in the open. Too exposed. Exactly. Sabotage is the answer. We pick the fleet apart, thin their numbers, and leave the Starhawk right where we want it. Defenseless. Precisely. If all goes to plan, you and the rest of Titan Squadron will have a clear run at the Starhawk, Lyndon Javes, and Vanguard. Ah, yes. Vanguard's squadron continues to be a vexing anomaly in my calculations. A problem you two are happily well positioned to correct. Good luck. I'll be monitoring you from here. So. Ooh. I don't see this going as easily as they plan. Not that this sounds like an easy plan. I don't know how you can be so calm. I've never been more ready for a mission in my life. Good. Ride the adrenaline. But remember... Yes, Svarko, don't die. You've said it a hundred times. <laughs> None of us are replaceable. Actually, I was going to say I need you alive because if our plan works, there's a good chance we'll be fighting the Starhawk in the middle of a nebula. If that's how this ends, then I want that good old Von Reg fury covering our backs. We came so close at Nadiri and they slipped through our fingers. Not again. Not today. Pace yourself. Make sure that fire's there when I need it. 
Can we just get started? That seemed like a bit of foreshadowing, and are we going to be stuck in this For again? This mission, you're authorized to fly a TIE bomber or a TIE reaper. I'll go with the reaper. I have yet to get sick of that launch sequence. It's just awesome.
That's what I thought I was about to do. <laughs> Frustrated. I'm glad they started me here rather than where I was last night, but I had to keep restarting last night. Corvette's like from the beginning. Do we have enough cores to take them out? Wait better. Too close to the core. Don't die.
it didn't get up. I don't understand. I'm going to restart this again because there's still... That one got away. I... Oh, fuck. Is the charm. <laughs> Normally, don't get this mad at games. Titan 3, follow me. A rebel frigate has entered the debris field. Understood, Overseer. Titan, attack formation. Follow my attack vector and engage the frigate. These fools, they underestimate Imperial superiority. Superior strength, superior ingenuity. The Starfall couldn't cross this field without knowing what it was flying into. If the New Republic is willing to sacrifice this much, what does that tell you about the value of the Starhawk? They're going to be devastated when we destroy it. Get ready! The frigate is 
Almost in range of the cluster. Wait for the right moment, then give them hell, Titan Three. Definitely didn't get enduring service or efficiency. But I'm okay with that right now. I saw a way through that minefield Titan set up. But no matter what path we took, we'd lose the fleet. I know it. So the commander took Ardo's second choice. We're heading into the Ringali Nebula. No long distance comms, sensors are almost dark. It's a gamble, but it's better than no chance at all. When those mm. missiles hit us back at the dockyards, I thought the temperance was done for. Reminder, Full shields, and they still almost tore us apart. But we got Teresa and Titan Squadron to chase us, instead of destroying Nadiri for good. That's what matters. Our next steps are... unclear. Like walking into fog. Better get to the briefing room. That's cheery. We're doing this all on a wing and a prayer. An X-wing and a prayer. Hera in the background. Let me speak plainly, Vanguard Squadron. We're in trouble. We have the Overseer behind us, and Imperial reinforcements moving to cut us off. There's no way we'll fend them off. We need to send a distress call to our allies in the New Republic and hope they can reach us in time. The problem is, we're wounded, outnumbered, and the Ringali Nebula is already disrupting our long-distance communications. And luckily, General Sindula has located an old broadcast hub that once orbited a nearby moon called Galatan. If we restore the Galatan broadcast hub, we can send a distress signal to New Republic forces outside the nebula. Chief Mechanic Zarelda Sage will lead a repair team to do just that. She'll also locate communication satellites in the area to boost our distress signal. The more active comsats we have, the stronger our transmission will be. Teresa surely knows this too. We can okay. suffer minor losses with the comsats. But the more we have working, the faster we can signal Chandrilla for help. But the Empire's fighters must not destroy the broadcast hub. We lose that. We won't survive. Keep Zerelda and the Comsat safe. I'll call for aid as soon as you get the signal strength high enough. From there, all we can do is wait. And hope. Is this a new hope, sir? This will work. Vanguard Squadron has handled dangerous assignments before and performed brilliantly. A deadly nebula on one side and a crumbling moon on the other. That gives us a slim margin of error. It's this or we come up with something more drastic. You know me, Ardo. There's always another way. Trust me, General. I'm aware. 
I'm just letting you know that my crew is feeling the strain. Noted. But I trust my people, you included, to make this happen. Sorry, not now. When I left the Empire, I tried to leave behind their views on morality and certainty. The core of Imperial Doctrine is being certain that what you're doing is right. Doubt is seen as disloyalty. Hmm. Now I understand that you have to look at your decisions with a clear heart and ask what more you could do, should do. For those who lead, doubt is necessary. The Starhawk Project represents hope for an entire galaxy. It's bigger than any of us. I know you'd rather be defending the Starhawk, but I promise that reactivating the broadcast hub is the best thing you can do to ensure the project's survival. Good luck. I know you won't let me down. I don't feel like the Starhawk can survive, considering it would be such a major weapon that would have to be used later in the lore. So unless we're getting a Squadrons 2, Starhawk's Revenge. Not gonna lie, I'd play that. You know, after Endor, I wasn't sure about staying with the New Republic. I'd fought the good fight, even shaken that death mark. I didn't see the point in going legit, so to speak. Figured I'd cash out, then get back to doing what I do best. It was Grace who changed my mind. The day I was set to leave, she pulled me aside and told me something I'll never forget. She said, I'll miss you, Frisk. Hmm. And back home on Dosh, my clan and I never got along. You're too loud, Farisk. Why don't you like hunting, Farisk? <sighs> as soon as I could fly, I left. Made my own way. On my own. Until I met Vanguard. The only thing better than pulling one over on the Empire was flying with my Vanguard buddies. It had never occurred to me they felt the same way. Uh, the point I'm trying to make is... Whether it's a life or death mission or just helping a Trandoshan feel at home, we make it work. So yeah, things look bleak. But when Vanguard flies together, there's nothing we can't do. Especially with you around. And if we fail, we fail together. And no one will ever know because we'll be dead. <laughs> now that's a win in my book. Ready to go when you are. Thanks, Frisk. Listen, I know things seem tough, but we've stared down death more times than I can count. Stranded in a nebula? That's nothing. We survived the Xavian Abyss. Hunted down by an Imperial fleet? So what? If they could stop us, they would have done it by now. This is war. Everything we face is gonna be tough. That's why the New Republic entrusted this mission to us. To Vanguard Squadron. No matter how hard it gets, how hopeless it seems, or how tired we feel, Vanguard, don't give in. Now let's go get them. Hmm. Sorry, I have to clear my throat occasionally tonight. I swear this weather, <laughs> the change in weather recently is killing my uh, allergies. I'm just congested as can be. Anybody else? Just inspect and talk to her, right? Can't talk to my droid. My droid's not here. Where's Roger? I don't have Roger. Dang it. You're in a U-wing, which is great news for me. I'll need all the support I can get out there. All these here's on the Temperance. I've never deployed on a mission. I just fixed up what came back. I might be nervous, scared even, but I've seen what you and Vanguard can accomplish together. I'm ready. I won't let you down out there. I'll try not to let you down too. No problems. 
You wings keep the squadron flying. This is a support fighter specializing in disabling enemy fighters and empowering the squadron. Okay, so we want to disable as much as we can. So that's uh, high damage shields, disable starfighters. Auto aim cannon deals a good damage at a decent rate with an average capacity. It's much easier to hit enemies than, than guided laser, but deals less damage. Standard laser cannon. Deals good damage at a decent rate with an average capacity. Great all around choice, but doesn't excel in any category. So leave what they say there. Tactical shield. Auto targets an allied starfighter ahead of you and surrounds them with a protective shield. That is extremely helpful. The. Yeah, the drop turret or mine turret drops behind you. Okay. Seeker warheads for countermeasures. Hull. What do we got here? Uh, increased shields, but less health. More health, but less acceleration maneuverability. Trade hull integrity, hull integrity, for acceleration maneuverability. Uh, because I'm not used to this, I'm just gonna leave it normal. Shields. Uh, what is this? Rapid laser recharge when shields are fully overcharged, but lower max. Oh, no. Max shields are higher, but regenerate slowly. Nope. Engine, slower speed and acceleration. More acceleration, less maneuverability. I'm just gonna leave it on standard. Yeah, let's do this. Is the shield right? Okay, right. Vanguard. The broadcast hub is close. I hope it's still in one piece. Look what the nebula's done to that moon. I dread what it could do to our ships. Could be worse. We could be back in the Xavian abyss. Or dead in the minefield. See? Zorelda gets it. how to turn my head. Oh, there's a way. There it is. What, no co-pilot? No nobody? It's an awfully big ship not to have anybody with me. There's our broadcast hub. Beginning docking procedure. I'll have this old relic up and running in no time. Well, let's get this done before the Empire notices we're out here. I'm shaking in my boots. You're not nervous. Kyo, I've seen Vanguard Squadron fly countless missions. What am I supposed to be worried about? Lots. Lots to worry about. Vanguard, I'm in. Some mess in here. Stand by while I get this hub up and running. That's what we were doing. Hey, looks like the broadcast hub works. It works, but the system is a wreck. I'm gonna need some time to get all the comm sets back online. Be quick. We have ties headed our way. I think the Empire's figured out what we're up to. Here I am. You can deploy turret mines near objective you want to defend. They will automatically fire lasers at nearby enemies until they run out of power. Okay. Watch your back. Shielded you. I 
I feel better already. Hard to work when I'm getting shot. Shield for you, Bell.
target. That's that one. Keep it up. Sets. As soon as I see those shields go down. See that? 
send our distress call. Just keep the Emperor away a little longer, Vanguard. No. Imperial jamming ship just Ooh. entered the area. We can't abandon it. We can lose our Starhawk prototype, but not the people who built it. You're gonna help them escape. How, boss? The Temperance's hyperdrive is busted. They're working on it, but don't worry. I'll buy you enough time. That's what I thought. He's gonna sacrifice himself. I wondered if he was gonna kamikaze it, but it sounds like he's getting in a jet. Well, star Starfighter, technically. Friends, years ago the rebellion welcomed me. Today, I feel honored to join the fight. Sir, you can't. Have faith, Kyo. Besides, if there's one person who can keep Jerissa's attention, it's me. I need you to lead our defenders. The future of Project Starhawk and maybe the New Republic itself is in your hands. All due respect, sir. You won't last a second out there alone. Not alone. Alone? No. But thanks to you, I've been able to call in some help. Commander James, this is Anvil Squadron. We got your message. <laughs> Here to help. They're gonna want some payback. Good luck, Vanguard. And may the force be with you. I huh. wonder what I, I probably didn't. Uh, oh, wait. I didn't mean to continue. I meant to hit. Oh.
When I was a police officer on Parkella, I'd spend weeks fighting red tape to arrest a racketeer or a slaver gang. People who were obviously guilty. I enlisted with the Empire because it gave me the power to do what was necessary. Deliver justice to the galaxy. Flying ties is more dangerous than chasing crooks. Every time I fly out of this hangar, I know it could be my last. But I come back. Time and again. I'm so tired of arguments about Imperial morality. I've heard pilots question our Empire. They wonder if our methods were right. But they always forget one thing. The simple fact is this. We have the power, so we have determined what is right. That's... When you're out there, never forget that you get to decide who lives and who dies. You've earned that power. Let's go. The captain is waiting. Mm. Man, I liked you until now, Barco. Still an interesting character, but man. We've done it. With Vanguard Squadron backed into a corner, Lyndon Javes has made his last mistake. We have confirmation that Lyndon has joined the fray. That's not all. He's leading the same rebel squadron we decimated at Moncala. This is a calculated move. Lyndon wants me to do something reckless. He thinks he knows me, but he's wrong. We're not going to take the bait. Titan Squadron will focus on our real target, the Starhawk. Admiral Sloan is counting on us. I wish I could deal with Lyndon personally, but a commander's true weapon is a squadron, not a starfighter. Go. Complete your mission. And if you get Lyndon in your sights, strike him down once and for all. Okay. This is it, Titan Squadron. Our moment of victory is at hand. The Temperance has broken off from the Rebel fleet, but no matter. Our focus is the Starhawk. And thanks to the reinforcements from Admiral Sloan, we now have it surrounded. The Starhawk suffered catastrophic damage from our Baradium assault and has had no opportunity for repairs. If I'm correct, a careful strike to the ship's tractor beam core should turn it into a floating time bomb. Reaching the Starhawk will not be easy. The Rebels managed to call in reinforcements of their own. Anvil Squadron, to be precise. Lyndon Javes is handling Anvil Squadron's tactics personally. Anvil took heavy losses at Moncala, but they still have Starfighters and a grudge. Destroy them. They're also fielding a Nebulon B frigate. We have a raider on hand to assist you. Once you reach the Starhawk, you must breach its armor to attack the core. Scans indicate there's an undetonated Baradium missile lodged somewhere in the Starhawk's hull. Oh, well. Exploit that. With the hull breached, a single fighter can fly inside the Starhawk to attack its tractor beam oh, core. No. <laughs> we have no idea what to expect on the inside. Do what you must to start a core overload, and then escape to the Overseer while there's still time. All our work and sacrifice has led to this, Titan. Do not let Lyndon Jave stop you now. Oh, Soul, you're a ball of sunshine. This is it. Destroying that Starhawk makes us heroes. And heroes have influence. A smart person could parlay that influence. Become Admiral Sloan's aide, perhaps. Once in the heart of Imperial power, you can guide it. From there, anything's possible. Even the foundations of a new Senate. Now all we have to do is win. Oh, don't worry. I'm not losing sight of what we must do. But this is about more than ending a war. A true future for the Empire, beyond Death Stars and Rebels, is within our grasp. That is what I'm fighting for. Whatever you're fighting for, remember it today. Uh, 
Okay. And Captain LT? Captain, I would be remiss if I didn't point out that our odds of success are substantially lower than usual. Are you saying Titan Squadron is no match for a broken down rebel fleet? Oh. Uh, no, not at all. Your record is very impressive. It's just that these rebels are desperate. That makes them especially dangerous. Hmm. A valid observation, LT-514. I expect you will keep it in mind. I took this pasting to see how squadron tactics really work in the field, and I discovered how little I really knew. But now I have enough material to submit an entire intelligence data bank on Titan Squadron, and yourself in particular. Watching you hunt rebels has been very educational, and rather fun. Thank you. It's been an honor to observe. You've made yourself indispensable. Titan Squadron would not have been the same without you. When I called you to serve, you answered without hesitation. I won't forget it. The battle is waiting. Do not disappoint me. Anything else? Nope. Ah, oh, Vonrick. Shin. Okay, Shin, I can't wait to talk to her. The war goes on. Didn't stop at Endor. Won't end with a Starhawk. Whatever's destroyed rises again. I've lived it. They need soldiers, pilots. Always have. Always will. Rebels or Republic, we know our duty. Take strength in that. You fly. I'll follow. Thanks, Shen. You're all right for a cyborg pilot that can't take his helmet off. Anvil Squadron makes no difference. Once the Starhawk is gone, we'll be one step closer to ending this war. You, on the other hand, are terrified. But the end of the war doesn't mean the end of our duty, does it? Captain Carroll may be satisfied with destroying the Starhawk, but it's only one ship. Enemies of the Empire exist all across the galaxy. I'll deal with them myself if I have to. Sounds like a good retirement to me. Let's finish this. Did you... I think Von Rigg is planning on becoming a serial killer. Okay, are we done here? We're done here. This is it then. Captain Carroll needs you in a TIE fighter, bomber, or interceptor. Your choice. Can I go with... Oh wait, are those the... Oh, it's straight ahead. Fire closer missiles the same target great against doing it. It's tough targets always uses one ammo per use. So it's a 450. Anti-starfighter missiles. It's 375. I don't like the seeker mine. Yeah, I think I'm gonna Oh, you can have a, up to four targets. Oh, yeah. You have a good eye. Go with that. Seeker warheads. Uh, max health minus new. No way am I taking away from health. Hostile lock time. Max health minus new. new. Uh, maneuverability removes acceleration and max speed. I am almost tempted to do that. Ah, we're going standard. On the rest. I'll experiment in multiplayer.
Intelligence Squadron is ready. On your order, Captain. I've come to expect nothing less. The Starhawk is straight ahead, but you will have to cut through the Republic fleet to reach it. Overseer to Imperial Raider. Help Titan break through the Republic lines. Yes, ma'am. Moving to position. Heads up! Incoming fighters! Titan, destroy those fighters now. Anvil leader to Titan. You should have wiped us out of Moncala. Thanks for the second chance. And if you're looking for me, Teresa, I'll just be over here with the rest of Anvil, taking out this Star Destroyer. It's a shame you won't come face me. Traitor! How dare you talk to us about shame! Titan is my weapon. Poised to deliver the Empire's vengeance. Right. Anvil leader, when you're finished there, come join us. Anvil dies today. Keep taking out those fighters. The Starhawk and Anvil Squadron, all in one place. All those targets. Spoiled for choice. Damn right. After you. I owe you my life. Destroy all fighters. On it, man.
point is Left. destroyed. Good. Now focus on that frigate. Radar here. Moving to support Titan Squadron. These Republic fools. Trapped, outnumbered, and they refuse to accept it. They'll call us weak, even as the might of our Empire sweeps them aside. That Raider's taking some heavy damage. Raider needs help. Your primary target is the enemy frigate. Okay, that was an intention. <laughs> Who's going a little faster than I meant? <laughs> oh, that's pretty bad. Missile and reach the Starhawk. Take the core, Titan Three. 
got it. Exactly what I didn't mean to. Uh, Should be close to the cause emitters. Zero wind and fire. Stay away from reading a spike in the core. Like it. Wait. Calculations show the core is about to release a gravity burst. Titan 3. That burst will fire you out of the core like a blaster bolt. Center yourself with the entrance. You can ride the shockwave out. It might be tricky. Relax. Stay nimble and steer clear of the walls. <sighs> Alright, trying this again. Gravity burst incoming. Steer carefully. The gravity fluctuations might knock you off course. Titan 3, brace yourself. Titan 3 is clear. You did it. The Starhawk's core has become a time bomb. Nothing can stop it from overloading now. Star Destroyer down. More of our people saved. And we're just getting started. And with me. Yes, sir. It's time to end this. Don't you dare fight James without me. You'll have to go through us first. Titan 3, we're pinned down. It's in your hands now. Titan 3, I gave you a chance to force our hand. I wish you'd taken it. Thank you, Linda. I hate that. 
kill you. taking a beating. Titan Squadron, with Admiral Sloan's unerring support, we have left Project Starhawk in ruins. Vanguard Squadron is doomed. Imperial ideals have prevailed. Loyalty, duty, discipline. And with our latest champion, we shall ascend to even greater heights. Titan 3 has been promoted to Flight Baron with full Flight honors. Bear? Well done. Your future with the Empire is bright. I take pride that the death of Lyndon Javes sends a message to all who would betray us. That wherever the enemies of the Empire may arise, Titan will be waiting, no matter the cost. This war is our crucible. We will emerge triumphant and bring this new republic to its knees.
Come join us. Attention all decks. Tanker 10 is off limits until further notice. I was like, is the, are the lights working on my headphones? I was going to be... Like, did those break too? Ardo confirmed what you already knew, Kyo. The commander is gone. Yeah. You know he did the right thing, though. The civilians needed us. The commander sent Vanguard where we were needed most. Of course. This is what he fought for. That's why it hurts so much. Whatever happens next. This is the end of the line. I just wanted to say... I know we haven't flown together very long, but if I'm being honest, it feels like you've always been here. I speak for everyone in Vanguard when I say, it's been a pleasure fighting beside you. I know we have a mission, but we also have each other to lean on and to protect. You've got my back out there, and I have yours, no matter what. Okay, General Sindula is waiting for us in the briefing room, shall we? We shall. Actually, I gotta adjust one thing real quick. My this room gets extremely hot, and the fan is pointed at me. Care of it. Oh wow, now it's pointed like right at me. <laughs> Probably gonna be able to pick up the breeze on the mic. No, not using a mouse and keyboard, Jeremy. Got a controller. Hera. I'm sorry that our first real meeting is under such tragic circumstances. We're all feeling Lyndon's loss. But we're cornered. You and Vanguard have held back the Imperials, but we must get those civilian engineers out safely. I need you focused and ready to go. Lyndon saw you as a leader, an inspiration even. That's the courage I need right now. Let's get you and the others briefed. There isn't much time. Okay. Thanks to your work on the commsats, Anvil Squadron heard our call, and with Lyndon Javes bought us time to repair our ships for escape. But now the Imperial fleet has Anvil's ships pinned down. They can't get out. So we're going back into the fight, because we need to buy everyone time to escape. No one left behind. Ardo thinks we have one chance. It's drastic, but here it is. The moon is highly unstable and the Imperial ships are positioned around it. If we crash the Starhawk into the moon's core, the shockwave should destroy those Imperial ships and let us escape, if we're fast. How? The ship's tractor beam is firing uncontrollably as it overloads. If we can get a couple of corvettes into that beam, we can tow it up to speed. Vanguard Squadron, you're up first. We're counting on you to clear the path and take out the closest star destroyer. Corvettes will then enter the tractor beam, and if Ardo's plan works, get the Starhawk moving. It should have a straight shot. Defend our fleet, in case the Imperials get wise to what we're doing. When the Starhawk collides with that moon, the shockwave will hit every Imperial ship in range. And you, unless you outrun it. It's risky, but sacrificing the Starhawk will save our fleet. And the engineers who will build the next one. And the next. The future of the New Republic depends on it. Let's finish this. That's... Wow. You should know, Lyndon always speaks... Spoke highly of you. He never forgot what you did for him at Fostar Haven. <sighs> I know war takes its toll. Even when the Imperials attacked Moncala, I had to keep my head. Linden was a friend. 
He knew exactly what he was doing when he challenged Teresa. Doesn't make it any easier. The Overseer has fallen back, but the other Imperial ships still have us pinned down. You and Vanguard are our last chance. I believe in you. But more importantly, I believe in Vanguard Squadron. Linden bought us time. I know you'll all make it count. Get to your ship. Every moment matters now. Hera. We were able to evacuate all personnel from the Starhawk. Engineers, technicians, mechanics. We took a big loss today. Those who died at Nadiri. Linden. It won't be in vain. So long as we survive, so does Project Starhawk. And with it, the future of the New Republic. Fortunately, the Imperials didn't seize control of Nadiri. They were too busy chasing us off. I've already sent Meteor and Hail Squadrons to secure the dockyards. Now all we have to do is make it out of here. To your fighter. There isn't much time. Sorry, I didn't hear a word you said. You, I was just staring at how pretty you are. She looks so good. Realize like this. That character model is insane. Oh, she's gorgeous. Oh. I don't, expect. don't tell me I've got to take an A-Wing. Well, actually, I've been warming up to the A-Wing. Come on, look at me. I'm not scared. We'll get through this. We always do. How do you know? Because we never let each other down, that's why. So, after we pull this off, because we will, what are you going to do? This isn't the end of the war, Frisk. It's just one more battle. Yeah, but we've earned ourselves a whole pile of day passes. You ever been to the last hand on Nar Shadda? Best cantina in the Outer Rim. What a relief. For a moment there, I thought you were taking this seriously. It's strange where conscience leads you. It took me from being a daughter of Imperial lackeys all the way to this tipping point. I'd be lying if I said I didn't miss my family. Regardless of their loyalties, they are still my parents. My sister. But in Vanguard Squadron, I found a family I could stand beside proudly until the very end. Whatever happens next will be our legacy. And I'm proud to share it with both of you. <sighs> you, Gunny, Kyo, you're all acting like this is the end. Am I the only one who remembers we're Vanguard Squadron? Hmm. We have to survive. The galaxy ain't gonna save itself. Let's go! Ain't every day you crash a Starhog into the moon. I'm with Frisk. I don't living through this. Thanks. Though, <laughs> it's gonna be tricky. You'll need to be flying your best for this one. X wing, Y wing, U wing, A wing. Pick whichever fighter you need. Uh, I hate to pick poorly. I know I can do it in an X wing, but I also think I can pull it off in an A wing. Repair kit, quick lock missile. Yeah, because we're just going to be taking on Starfighters as far as I'm aware. Uh, yeah, there were, I don't like the other hulls that well yet. Yeah, that's stuff I want to experiment in later. Um... Ah, what the heck, we're going X-Wing. Tried and true. Here we go. Our last mission. Mission missiles General Syndulla to Imperial Forces. 
Withdraw or be destroyed. We're in the fire now. Yeah. Time to end this. For the boss. One hell of a place to fight. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> Those Imperials better enjoy the view while they can. Did anyone else hear that? Probably just a comm glitch. Focus on the Star Destroyer. Okay. They missed their chance. Eliminate that Star Destroyer so we can move the Starhawk into position. Okay. Uh, any advice, General? Hit the subsystems first to weaken it. Okay, I didn't then realize... strike with everything you've got. Mm -hmm. the Star like that, huh? Eliminate that Star Destroyer like we're swapping a miner. Its shields are too strong. We've got to fight under them and hit them all dead on. Mm -hmm. Take out the Star Destroyer's shields behind mm -hmm. us. I'll give you a clear shot at its systems. That didn't work. Okay, they missed their chance. Eliminate that Star Destroyer so we can move the Starhawk into position. Uh, any advice, General? Hit the subsystems first to weaken it. Yeah. And strike with everything you've got. Just like that, huh? Eliminate that Star Destroyer like we're swatting a Minoc.
Too close. Watch the Star Destroyer burn for a while. Does that make me sadistic? Our status. 
The Starhawk has a straight shot at the moon. Sending in corvettes to get it moving. Give them some cover. Corvettes? To tow the Starhawk into the moon and take out every damn Imperial ship in range. Then count me in. Let's finish this together. Okay, cool. We're gonna have it. Defend that. I'm with you. Corvettes are in position. Vanguard, Imperial bombers are heading straight for the Corvettes. And they're a stationary target. Vanguard, be ready. We'll hold off the Imperials as long as we can. Corvette engines at full power. How long is this gonna take? Longer than I'd like. Be ready. Come on, hold together. You okay, Linden? Okay to try, but not to fight. My little droid here can only fix so much. We've got all the firepower we need. If you watch our backs, we'll handle the rest. The Empire is attacking our Corvettes. Not those Corvettes. The Starhawk's going nowhere. Help them out. Oh, right. The Corvettes are still under attack. Let's give them some cover. Look sharp. More bombers coming in. Whoa. That tractor beam's no joke. Doing 
did it. Smooth sailing from here. Wouldn't that be a change? Where are our Corvettes going? I ordered them back. That maneuver almost burned out their engines. It's up to you now, Vanguard. Count on us, General. All right. The Starhawk's picking up speed, but it's still vulnerable. Vanguard, defend the Starhawk at all costs. Leave Man. it to us. Starhawks have almost ready to blow. How long we gotta fly escort? You see that archway between those two rocks? That's where it's headed. Once the Starhawk reaches that point, there's no turning back. Prepare yourselves. Pretty sure we it's too bad we're losing the Starhawk like this. It was built to stop Imperial fleets, and that's exactly what it's gonna do. Thanks to Teresa. Though I doubt she'd like the irony. We're picking up an incoming Imperial cruiser. Stay alert. Oh, come on. Don't they know it? Please start me at the second one, not at the first one. All right. The Starhawk's picking up speed, but it's still vulnerable. Vanguard, defend right. the Starhawk at all costs. We're cost. still at the first one. Leave it to us. Okay. The Starhawk's right. almost ready to blow. How long we gotta fly escort? You see that archway between those two rocks? That's where it's headed. Once the Starhawk reaches that point, there's no turning back. Prepare yourselves. It's too bad we're losing the Starhawk like this. Yeah, it really is. It was built to stop Imperial fleets. And that's exactly what it's gonna do. I need a ship killer. Thanks to Teresa. Though I doubt she'd like the irony. What's our... You don't have... You won't let me customize it? Are you f mm. Okay. It's fine. I can use a bomber. 
And just use it as a bomber. Or one of the torpedo. We're picking up an incoming Imperial cruiser. Stay alert. Oh, come on. Don't be going to quit.
base as intact as possible. It's going to land like a hammer. Good work, Vanguard 5. Not do great, but uh, 14 minutes and 8 or yeah, 18 minutes. Sorry, mission 14 and 18 without dying. Didn't do that. Maintain maximum speed during the Galatian escape. I must have throttled back. Oh, yeah, when I almost hit that rock. Otherwise, I could have done it easily. I'll definitely replay that to get these medals. Hope is like the sun. If you only believe in it when you can see it, you'll never make it through the night. We know our new Republic faces great challenges. But thanks to Vanguard Squadron, peace is closer than ever. General Sindula sacrificed one Starhawk for the chance to build a fleet. From Nadiri, Commander Jades will guide our best and brightest, forging the strength to challenge an empire. The war goes on, but we face it with renewed courage, inspired by heroes who fly for freedom as we emerge from the darkness of imperial oppression into the light of a new era. 